Hi, everyone. Anthony Morganti here. I get this question a lot. Uh, people often will buy a new computer and they've transferred Lightroom from their old computer to their new computer. But during the transfer, the presets they had for Lightroom on their old computer weren't transferred to the new computer. And it's not entirely straightforward how to do this. So in this video, I want to show you how to transfer presets from an old computer to a new computer. Now, before I do that, just let me kind of go over very quickly how you would transfer Lightroom to begin with. Uh, first of all, on your new computer, just install Creative Cloud and install Lightroom Classic. Now, of course, when you install Lightroom Classic, it's just going to be a fresh install of Lightroom Classic. It's not going to have your images or your settings or your edits or anything like that. So then what you're going to need to do is transfer all of your images from your old computer to your new computer. If you're like me and have all of your images on an external hard drive, then it's easy. Just unplug the hard drive from the old computer and plug it into the new computer. Next, you need to transfer all the catalog files. The catalog contains all your edits and the settings you use in Lightroom. Now, I'll just very quickly show you the easiest way to do that. What you need to do is from within Lightroom on your old computer, go to Catalog Settings. On a Mac, it's under the Lightroom Classic menu. Under, uh, or with a PC, it's under the Edit menu. When you open up Catalog Settings, on the first tab, General, it's showing you the location of your catalog, and you could click the Show button. When you do on a Mac, you'll get a Mac Finder window. On a PC, you'll get a File Explorer window. Either way, it will have the folder highlighted that contains your catalog files. What you need to do then is take this entire folder and copy it to the new computer in the same location. In this case, I keep it in my Dropbox folder because then it's automatically backed up to the cloud. Now, once you do that, you may think that all of your presets came with it because if you drill down and open this up, you'll see that within here it has Lightroom settings. And then if you open up that, it says develop presets. Well, if we open up that, most often you're going to find that's empty. It doesn't contain any of your presets. You have to do that in another step. Now, just to back up one bit, uh, when you copy this um, folder to the new computer and you have it in the same location, in my case, let's say it's Dropbox folder, and really you don't need to keep it in the same location. I probably shouldn't have specified that. You could put it anywhere on your new computer. What you need to do though then is open it up after it's on the new computer and then from the new computer, look for the file that is .lrcat. That is the actual catalog file. And then double click on that file and it will open the catalog up into Lightroom. And then every time from that point forward, when you open up Lightroom, it will automatically open up your catalog in Lightroom. And it should find your images, assuming you didn't change the name of any of your image folders, or you didn't change the designation of the drive or the name of the drive or anything like that. As long as you kept all that the same, it should be able to find your images as well. So you'll be up and running, but you won't have any of your original presets that you had on your old computer. Now, finally, to get your presets over to your new computer, what you need to do is on your old computer, uh, open up Lightroom and go to your presets. Now, right here, this group of presets are the presets I sell. By default, those won't get transferred over. Now, to get them over there, what you'll need to do is open up any of the any of the folders, let's say. Um, I have a set of presets that are called Beaches. So let's just open that up. Then right-click on any of the presets. And when you do, on a Mac, it's going to say Show and Finder. I'm not sure what it will say on a Windows computer. It's probably something like File Explorer. But you'll open that up. And there's the presets right there. Well, you could say, well, I got to copy all these. No, you don't. All right, here's what you do. Now on a Mac, I don't know what to do on a Windows. Maybe someone in the comment section could mention what to do in a Windows computer. But on a Mac, if you have it active, you'll see down here we have this breadcrumb trail. And the beach preset that happens to be highlighted is right there. And then it's in a folder called Beaches. That's in a folder called Morganti Lightroom Presets. Now by default, Macs won't have this breadcrumb trail active. You have to make it active. So go to Finder. Now see how it says Finder up here, not Lightroom? Go to the View 
uh, options on a Mac. And you want to make sure that uh, the path bar is being shown. So if, see if I turn it off, see how it's missing now? We'll go up to view, show path bar. Now, again, I don't know how that works on a Windows computer. Hopefully someone knows and will mention it in the comment section. Now, once you do that, just go down here to this path, and what you're going to want to do is go backwards. So we have uh, the beach folder, then we have this folder, which has all those presets that are over here, the whole group. And then I could go back one more to imported settings, and you'll see there is the folder that contains all the presets that I sell. It's called Morganti Lightroom Presets. Also, I have some of the landscape profiles that I sell here, all of the landscape profiles I sell here. So you have profiles here as well. So this is kind of a bonus. You could transfer your presets and profiles. Now, what I recommend you do, once you get this um, kind of parent folder that contains all of the presets, don't just copy it as is. Instead, compress it. Because when you then, it makes it easier to import into the Lightroom on your new computer when it's compressed. And it will keep the same structure and have everything in the same groups. So what you could do, on a Mac, and again, I'm pretty sure this is similar for a Windows computer, right-click on the folder you want to compress or zip. And when you do that, you'll have the option to compress it. So just compress it, and now you can see it's right here, and it says Morganti Lightroom Presets.zip. Copy that file to the new computer. Then, once that is found, by the way, you could do that for the profiles as well. Go down here, right-click on the profiles, Press Lightroom Landscape Profiles. There, that's zipped as well. Now copy those zip files to the new computer. Once they're copied to the new computer, and let's just, um, let me just do this for a minute. Let me minimize Lightroom. And let me, for the sake of argument, just drag them onto my desktop. And now I could close down my Finder window. Now let's just pretend I'm on my new computer now. Just go over here and click this little plus sign by Presets. Go to Import Presets. And then you could go to where they are on your computer. They're on my desktop. And here they are, Lightroom presets right there. And import them. And you could import the profiles in the same exact manner as well. You could do it right here as well. You do not have to go to like the basic tab. that will open up the profile browser. Click this plus line. Click on import profiles. You don't have to do that. You actually could do it right from presets. And it will put them over here on the right in the profiles. So we're on the new computer. You just imported the presets and the profiles onto the new computer. So let's go back to the old computer again. So we have the presets that you purchased from a third party transferred to your new computer. Unfortunately, you'll see there's some other presets here as well. First of all, there's camera defaults. That's just a name I gave this. This isn't something that Lightroom designates as a category called camera defaults. What happens is, some of you may be familiar with this, is that when you import images into Lightroom, you could give them kind of a pre-setting. It's not really a developed setting. It's just that um, a settings, like where you zero out everything. For me, I usually go to the detail tab, and I make sure that like sharpening's at zero, um, and luminance and color noise reduction are at zero as well. And that's pretty much it. And lens corrections are applied. So when I import images, all that gets done automatically. Those are called uh, just camera defaults and they may be different for camera to camera to camera and if you open this up you'll notice that i have an a7r4 default i have um, a gr3x default a z72 default and a z9 default so for those four different cameras settings get adjusted as i import images now you don't might not have this this isn't something that it's required to have in lightroom but a lot of people like to do this and i like to do it for these four cameras so what you have to do is transfer any of these default settings that you may have created independently of the third-party preset settings. So again, you have to just right-click on one of the um, presets and then go Show in Finder, and you'll see that these are in a different location. That's why we didn't find them before. So you could grab them here, just find them. They're all going to end in .xmp, and they're going to have the same prefix as the actual name of the preset. So just find them here, and you can see there's four of them right here at the top. And you could zip those as well, or compress those. Copy that compressed file to the new computer and import that compressed file 
onto the new computer. And it won't matter that they're going to be imported into a different location on the new computer. Your computer or Lightroom will still find them and apply them during the import. You'll be okay. Now, there is another category here. It, you'll see it's called um, NLP Enhanced Settings. Now, that's unique to my computer. I shoot film and I scan the negatives. And those scan negatives come into Lightroom. And they have to get converted because they're negative. So they have to get converted to a positive. And there's a Lightroom plugin called Negative Lab Pro that does that. And there's some settings here, some presets here for Negative Lab Pro. Unfortunately, often third party software that installs presets into Lightroom, you won't be able to transfer that. You won't be able to find it usually. Now you can see there's some NLP enhanced settings here. And if I roll that open, I got lucky they're there. So I could then um, copy it here. I'll just go to this folder here, this NLP Enhance Settings um, folder and compress that or zip it, copy that, and then import that into Lightroom. Uh, there's some user presets. You can find them. There's nothing in there. So. so what you could do then is just, as I mentioned, on your camera defaults, now right-click. Now, the reason why I'm kind of specifically um, talking about when a third-party plugin installs presets in Lightroom, you may have a hard time finding those and copying those over because when I go over here to the NLP enhanced settings, you see all those presets. If I right-click on any of those, you'll notice that show in Finder isn't an option. So I can't show it in Finder. So hopefully you found it accidentally like I did when I went up here for my camera default presets and I showed those in Finder and I was able to find those NLP Enhance setting presets as well. So that could be a problem. If, that, if you do encounter that, you're going to have to reinstall that plugin anyway onto Lightroom on your new computer. And when you do in reinstall that plugin, hopefully that plugin will reinstall the presets as well. So that's the only issue you may encounter. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I definitely do recommend, though, that you do compress the presets or zip them, it will make it easier to import them into the Lightroom that's on your new computer. So hopefully that all made sense. And hopefully that helps you transfer your presets from your old computer to your new computer. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.